No one knows a child better than a good parent. We raise them, we love them, and we understand them. But when children become teenagers, things can change to a certain extent. And teenagers can do things that surprise us. But the good moms and dads out there are on the case. And they know better than anyone else what is in character or out of character for their child. And that's why when a child goes missing and a parent suspects something really bad could have happened, we need to listen and we need to help. Vivacious, outgoing, never met a stranger. That's not a kid that's planning on running away. That's not a kid that doesn't want to be with her family. That's, that's my Annie Jo. Last Friday night, Lori Hill's daughter, Anne, went to a friend's house to watch a movie. Hill waited up to make sure she got a good night hug and started calling at 11 that night to see what time she was going to make it home. I never got any kind of response. And that's, that's not like her. And eight days later, still nothing. Hill says it's been hard trying to convince police that Anne is not a runaway, that her disappearance is completely out of character. She fears Anne will get lost in a long list of missing teenagers. They have so many kids that just decide they're better off away from home and leave. And I, I understand that, but Anne's not one of those. Just like any 16-year-old, Anne had just gotten the keys to her first car. That car was found abandoned in the Edmond area. Hill hopes that convinced officers Anne didn't choose to take off. We just miss her so much. She wouldn't, she would be amazed at the number of people that are out there driving streets, walking parks, knocking on doors. Uh, taping up flyers. We know she's she's out there somewhere and she wants to come home. That mom desperately looking for some help and and no one knows if if she